Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca and I've got some amazing goodies to share with you today from Diamond Art Gift. Uh, now these are off the canvas items. Um, I'm going to start with the one we can partly see. Um, this, I have unboxed something similar in the past. Um, I think I unboxed coasters with this design, but I absolutely adore it. So this time I decided to get one of the little mirrors. So this is all sorts of pinks, beiges, absolutely beautiful colours. See yourself in the camera. Um, and this is a little compact mirror. So you actually stick onto both sides. I do recommend sealing it once you have done this. Um, I use, oh, let me grab hold of it. I use this crystal art sealer from Craft Buddy. Um, you can also just use like PVA or Elmer's glue over the top. There's a few other things you can do as well, um, but it will get rid of any leftover sticky once you've put the diamonds down. Always put your diamonds down first. Um, you do get a toolkit with this, but it's these colours. I just think they're beautiful. Beautiful, subtle, beiges, pink, sort of dusty colours. Um, Nice, nice, warm, pretty colours on that one. So that's number one. Number two, if I can remember, uh, it's another off the canvas item. Oh, this one is some earrings, some funky little earrings at that. Uh, so you do get, of course, two of each. You do both sides. So once you put them in, if they move. Um, but yeah, we have these gorgeous hexagons. So nice geometric designs with nice bright colours. Little bit of fun. So that's one set of earrings. And then the other one is these stacked little diamonds. I just thought they were so, so sweet. Uh, you get a toolkit. This one is rhinestones rather than the sort of standard diamonds for that extra little bit of sparkle. Uh, but we have your yellow, red, um, white or clear or silver, whatever you want to call them, green and turquoise uh, or a nice vivid blue anyway for the colours on those. So I thought they were absolutely adorable and definitely very very different quite a quick project those as well uh, as well as the mirror so they end up being quite nice quick projects and then if you want something that takes a little bit longer I've unboxed quite a few coasters recently I think last year just before Christmas there was loads of keyring designs out there still are um, but there was just always coming up with new and weird and wonderful ones um, and this year it's coasters. I keep getting drawn to the different designs you can get with the coasters. I don't know how many coasters people need. Um, I suppose you could um, punch a hole in them, especially if you had the likes of one of the crocodile tools that will actually punch through wood um, and create some hanging ornaments from them. They don't need to be coasters coasters um or used as such but these pumpkins i just thought were adorable uh so we have a set of pumpkin coasters or even just wood pieces i say they don't need to be used as coasters uh you could just have these as pure decoration um around the autumn season, although that one might be a bit more Halloween-y by the looks of it, but we do have some fun-loving pumpkins as well as some that are looking a little bit more scary. Uh, you also get a toolkit, and this one looks to be primarily rhinestones, but we'll have a look at the colours. What's quite nice, oh, excuse me, uh, what's quite nice with these is there is actually three different shades of orange within the pumpkins. 
So if you have a look, we do have the number seven, the number three and the number four. Uh, and it's actually those three shades of orange that make up the pumpkins. Um, so we have, well, this is X, Y, U and K. Um, so we do have another orange, actually, and that is the letter X. I'm trying to see where, if anywhere, that appears. These, there's not many of them. So these look to me like they just appear on a few because there's the letter U and we only actually need four on the whole of this um, which is just that little little line of green there um, so these are the hardly used ones but then we have sort of the main kick and caboodle so we have the clear or the silver we have black, which is more of your regular 310 rhinestone. This is the number three. We actually have four packets of those, as you can imagine. They all use them. Uh, number four, we just have one packet. Uh, and then the number seven, we just have one packet. So you just have a little bit of the darker and lighter but then most of it will be this colour in the middle. So you do get some shading with rhinestones. Um, we also have some browns, pinks, turquoise, red. Again, these are all just a little bit less of them because they're just little elements within. Um, but yeah, a really fun, you could sort of full on kit this up. Kit these diamonds up, ready, in pots and just work on a pumpkin every now and then when you feel like it um, and yeah you could even as I say if you could get the likes of a crocodile that can punch through wood you could even uh, miss a diamond or two at the top punch a hole and hang them up uh, maybe on one of those little trees or maybe outside on a tree uh, if it's in the shade if it's in the shelter sorry from the rain because it is wood um, and create yourself some Fun and funky little Halloween decorations. So we've got quite a variety for today. Um, but yeah, I love having some off the canvas type items on hand to do. Um, when I just, I just feel like doing something a little bit different. So I will pop links to each of these individual items below, uh, but there are many more choices. So if you like the idea of coasters, but not pumpkins, then there's loads of coasters there to check out. Same with earrings and with mirrors. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.